Welcome to Find the Perfect Place, your new destination for amazing home tours. I'm Zisha and behind the camera is Bronson. Hey guys. Today we're here in Tambourine, Southeast Queensland, staying in a palm tree forest at this luxury glamping dome. Bronson and I have thoroughly enjoyed our time here already, surrounded by the gorgeous nature. It is so private and secluded and just perfect for a romantic getaway just for two. Surrounding this dome you will find kangaroos and so much more. We cannot wait to show you around today's perfect place. Come with us. The dome itself is actually two domes in one. The larger dome is eight by eight and that houses the main living area. There's then the smaller dome to the side, which is four by four. That's where we'll find the bathroom, which of course we are going to show you later on in today's video. The triangular windows are so incredibly unique and the dome itself was put together by the hosts. They have done an incredible job. I feel so incredibly lucky to have an experience like this one. I really do feel as though this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. If you guys would like to follow us inside, we're gonna do the full tour. You've got a treat ahead of you. Come on in, let's take a look. Not only is this glamping dome so incredibly spacious, it's also incredibly homely. The interior design within this space is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the separate zones that they've put in place to make it feel as though you've got lots of little nooks to hang out in. One of the hosts is actually an interior designer. So she has got the skills and she brought it to life in this space. Oh, she truly has. It feels so incredibly homely. At the same time, so incredibly spacious. Of course, we have done many tiny home tours. I figured that it might be quite similar to that kind of feel, but no, I was completely wrong. This is so like spacious feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's like, we wanted a tiny house for the longest time and then all last night we're like, yeah, maybe a dome will do yeah, us. Yeah, we could do this full time, surely. Because <laughs> we do love, firstly, the very high ceiling. Instantly that opens up any space, whether you're in a dome or in a home itself. It uh, is one way to create a really amazing atmosphere. Now we actually have a skylight at the very top of the dome as well. And one of the highlights of our stay last night was the moon moonlight shining on through. Wasn't it beautiful? Oh yeah, it really was cool. I haven't like seen the moonlight in so long and just to have that just lighting up this yeah, room just beautifully. Yeah, glistening onto the bed. Oh, mm. it was just so incredibly magical and special. And the bed itself is incredibly comfortable and very, very spacious. Now, Bronson and I are actually staying here in the winter months and the hosts have got us covered in terms of comfort and heating. They've supplied a number of extra blankets, hot water bottles. There's even an electric blanket on the bed. And I don't think we've ever ever had the luxury of an electric blanket and Airbnb stay before? Not that I can recall, no. I think this is the first. It's incredible. They've really gone the extra mile to ensure the comfort of their guests. And during the summer months, of course, you've got the cooling system to cool things off in this space as well. Adding all the texture and layers and patterns to the space just gives it that super cozy, homely feel. And then you've got a bit of a sunbed in the corner here. Well, can you even say this is the corner? It's a dome, it doesn't yeah. have any corners. Yeah, yeah, and 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 we've got a sunbed in the round part of the home, <laughs> which is the whole home. <laughs> which is the whole home. So this is just perfect for kicking back and relaxing, grabbing a magazine of an afternoon, and perhaps even enjoying a cup of tea. I absolutely love the view from this window as well. 
you're looking out onto the beautiful palm tree forest. And a little later on, we're going to also take you outside and show you the fire pit, which is just one highlight of the outdoor space. We have many to show you. Now this little area here is so incredibly cute. This just fills my heart with so much joy, this space, because as you'll know, Bronson, this kind of furniture just sings to my soul. <laughs> Yeah, it does. You really tried to bring that into our own home, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we sure had a lot of these kind of vibes in our own space. And the curtains are also another highlight for me, adding that texture and warmth to the space. And then the fireplace to the side here really added a romantic feel to the atmosphere, didn't it? It did indeed. <laughs> now this actually leads us on through the archway, which I also just love. I, I just can't even believe that I'm here. In this space, they've put it together beautifully, including everything that you could need. It's extremely private, overlooking the gorgeous surrounding bushland. And I was extremely lucky to enjoy a bath in this bathtub this morning. And I cannot put into words how special and magical it feels to be in this space. They have you all set as well with matching couple robes, which is extremely luxurious, and this gorgeous mirror as well. This vanity here is so incredibly unique, and I love how they've gone to that extra effort to actually have the palm tree on all of their little extras for the bathroom, mm, considering really, we're in a palm forest. <laughs> that's it, it's really fitting for the space, isn't it? It is, they found the perfect little bits and bobs to provide in the bathroom. Back to the bathtub, I should have mentioned as well, you have the removable shower head. You will notice that there isn't actually a full shower in this space, but once again, hang around and we'll show you where that's hidden on the outside very, very shortly. That brings us back through the arch, which I absolutely adore, into the main space. They've even provided a full length mirror, which is always a highlight for Bronson and I, especially when we're on camera, we need to know what we look like. A full length mirror is the perfect way to do that. And what would glamping be without one? Am I right? Yeah, that's a, it's a perfect glamping stay. And it is just so luxurious here. I love it. It is, it's so, oh, it, yeah, it's magical. Yep. It's truly magical. How long has a glamping dome been on our list to shoot? Oh, ever, ever since the beginning. And we're here. We're yeah. doing it here and now. And that reminds me, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do hit the subscribe button and give the video a cheeky thumbs up while you're here. That way you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you at many perfect places to come. Now, I forgot to mention when we were in this space, the artwork on this dividing wall. How incredibly cool is this? I absolutely love it. And it just adds such a wonderful impact to the space. And this dividing wall itself actually separates off half and half. We've got a kitchenette as well as a walk-in wardrobe. So you really do have absolutely everything you could ever need. Is there anything else we need to do on the inside? Um, well, 
The rugs are really cool. They, they are. Yeah, the rugs yeah. are definitely gorgeous. Zisha yes. actually wanted to buy these exact same rugs for our apartment. <laughs> She told me last night. Yes, yeah, I never got around to it actually. Of course, we don't actually have an apartment any longer. We said goodbye to that, so. We uh, did. Why did we say goodbye to it? To find more perfect places. That's it, <laughs> we're doing this full time, so we're gonna have many more perfect places coming your guys' way. For sure. Should we head outside? We've got so much more to show you. Come on out. Now, as I mentioned before, the large window overlooks this outdoor area. And what would glamping be without your very own private fire pit? Bronson and I thoroughly enjoyed our evening last night, kicking back, relaxing with a glass of wine, enjoying the crackling sounds of the fire. This is truly the perfect place to kick back and relax enjoying the gorgeous pink sunset skies. This is utterly incredible. In the outdoor space as well, you'll find a number of hammocks around the grounds for you to kick back, relax and swing the day away. What a perfect spot to take a book and just snuggle in of an afternoon. Now we're actually gonna pop around to the back of the two domes where there's even more to show you. This space truly does have it all. Come along with us and we'll show you now. Hidden away in the very back corner amongst the beautiful palm forest, you have your very own private jacuzzi. Not only have they filled this space with the jacuzzi, you've also got this gorgeous little outdoor setting and a Weber barbecue, so you can cook up an absolute feast during your stay. They've also enabled you to have a shower amongst the palms with a freestanding shower found in the back corner that not only has the rainfall shower head, but also a removable shower head. They've thought of absolutely everything during your stay here at this gorgeous glamping dome. Also included in this stay is the use of these bicycles. This is the transport that's going to get you to the local cafes or the local restaurants. They truly have thought of absolutely everything. We have to say a huge thank you to the hosts for letting us stay, experience and share this stay with all of you. This is one not to be missed. If you would like to book it for your very self, don't forget all of the booking links are in the description box down below and leave us a comment letting us know your favorite aspect of today's tour. Mine would have to be the dome itself. It truly is absolutely incredible and so unique. Now while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a cheeky thumbs up and as always, we look forward to seeing you in our next Perfect Place.